Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. on the re-kick from the Braves. Great down the field will be taken by Richardson. AJ to the 40, the 45. Great field position for the Eagles to start at their own 45. Grant County, as I said, 0-3 in the district, 4-6 on the season. Not a very big team, as you see the numbers on the sideline. Coach said, you know, they're a 5A school with a 2A roster right now. Eagles come out. Eagles are led by Aaron Sloan at quarterback. And they pitch it. Tripped up for Skidmore. Peyton Skidmore, 710 yards on the season, six touchdowns on the ground. Two yard pickup. See the motion inside handoff. This one to AJ, going nowhere. AJ met immediately, stopped for no gain. Met by Kyle Keith, number 25 of Grant County. Brings up a big third down now, third and seven. It's Madison Southern looking to at least get one first down on their drive. On the opening drive of the game, playoff season is upon us. Fake, pass, come back, and incomplete. They're going to roll it, hit the ground. Skidmore intended receiver, but it skipped up to him. That brings up a punting situation. Carter Smith is back to punt. as Grant County appears to be setting up a return. Go, 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 go. 
Bad snap. Carter had to go get it, but he gets a punt off. And it's going to dive about the 30 and bounce to around the 25, 26 yard line. That is where Grant County will be taking over. Grant County will come out. They will be led under center by number 12, Joseph Nilp. Ten touchdowns on the season for Nilp. Eight interceptions. He lines up with the gun. Two receivers inside. Hand. Oh, he's a little read option. He keeps it. And he picks up maybe a yard or two. Minimum pickup. They give him three yards. Stacy with the tackle for Madison Southern. Hand off. Going back inside. Host of Eagles in on the tackle. Brings up a third down as number 22. Robert Spone was the ball carrier. 425 yards on the ground for him on the season. As Grant County goes, no huddle, or he's back to the line. Third down and a short two. Eagles jump. Eagles are drawn off sides. That's going to give Grant County a first down on penalties. The penalty results. And another first and 10 for the Braves. Quarterback under center. Our running back comes up, hands it off. Ball is 22. 22, the ball carrier once again. Met by a bunch of Eagles, led by number three. It's Shondaz Goodlow coming in to clean it up. Pitch. Nothing. Lost yards in that play. Met by a host and number eight in on the tackle as well. Or third down six. They're down seven now officially. We've gone under eight minutes in the first quarter of play. Three receivers, two backs. Wide receivers screen dropped and incomplete. Little wide receiver bubble screen. Falls incomplete to the ground, brings up a punting situation. Number 28 is back to punt. That's a big old punter. Ball is blocked. The punt is blocked. Southern will take over in excellent field position at their own 36-yard line as the punt was blocked. Southern takes over on the own 36. Punter wasn't back deep enough to kick it. He was too close to the line, which allowed Southern to come through and block the punt. Well, three and out the first time out for the offense. Line up now with one back and four receivers. Handoff, driving up the middle. Still on his feet. Down inside the 20. That's big Carter Smith on that carry. See, drags him for a pickup of 
18. Carter Smith, 551 yards on the ground this season and nine touchdowns to lead the Eagles. Eagles now in the eye formation. Two receivers out. Handoff straight up the gut. Nice little pickup, driving down for about an eight yard gain. Sixty-three on the tackle for Grant County. Six and a half to play opening quarter. Scoreless ball game. Eagles knocking at the door though, in the red zone. So they have a second down three. Handoff goes to AJ. He is close to a first down. Looks to be about a yard, half yard short. Number nine, Stacy checking in at quarterback for the Eagles. Third down two at the 12. High snap, takes it down, gets the first down and more. Stacy with the score, Eagles on top. Six to nothing at that 5.27 mark of the opening quarter. Stacy with the touchdown at number six on the ground this season for Landon. Chesney Sipple is uh, on the field for the extra point. Kick is up and good. Eagles lead at 7-0. 527 to play opening quarter. We'll be back after this. Time out. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Back to Mass Southern High School with the Eagles have just went on the board, seven to nothing, over the visiting Grant County Braves. Uh-oh, we got some deflated balls out here as the umpire comes over to the sideline. You don't think Wayne's been tampering with the footballs, do you? Uh-oh, getting a new ball. Somebody investigate Mr. Wayne. <laughs> we found a football we can play with and we're about to kick it off from Hassan Southern. Wayne may be a subject of um, suspension next week. Investigation underway. We'll have Samantha Burford go down and investigate that for us at halftime. Wayne Lanehart. 
Kick is up, and it's going to stay in play, and it goes down to the 10 where he finally picks it up. Southern's going to nail him inside the five. That is why you don't let the ball hit the ground and roll, hoping for it to go out of bounds. They lost about 30 yards of field position on that play. Southern will be taking over. I mean, Grant County takes over inside their own five. Last time out, Southern blocked a punt, which helped lead to the touchdown. All Foster alongside now, Rick Bobley joins us in the stands. 7 0 Eagles early. Grant County quarterback in a hole. Quarterback going to roll out of the pocket and get across the line of scrimmage. That's about it. He might lose a yard. If anything, he gained one. Looks like he lost a couple, though. So. Southern blocks a punt on the first possession. Grant County went to punt, had it blocked. This brings up a second and 11. Quick handoff, nothing, ball's loose. Southern says they have it. Eagles do have it at their own five yard line. Eagles in business now, already leading seven nothing. As we said earlier, Grant County is a 5A school with a 2A roster. They don't have many kids. First time they've made the playoffs in a long time. They had been in a five-team district. So. What I read earlier today is uh, their quarterback, uh, Joseph uh, Kip, is, is he's everything. He's yeah. a third leading tackler. He's has four interceptions, and, and he's thrown for about 1,000 yards. And stuff they get like a lot that. of guys going both ways. And off of the middle, score! Carter Smith with the touchdown. Eagles lead it 13-0 now. Stacy had her first touchdown. And now Smith with the second. And Chesney with the extra point attempt. Kick is up. Good. Eagles lead it 14 to nothing. 429 to play in the opening quarter. We'll be back after this. Time out. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing. We've got you covered. Expressroofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Back to Mass Southern High School, Donald Foster, Rick Marbley, enjoying the 14-0 lead. The Eagles have early now, 429 to play in the quarter. All this score in a matter of two minutes on the clock. 
Eagles set to kick it. Carter Smith pops her up, squibs it down the middle of the field. Going to be taken by an up man, and he takes a knee. He sure did. Took a knee. He had no faith in his running ability. That was Tanner uh, Soder for uh, Brent County. And He's got no love in his game. He's like, I ain't fumbling. I don't want to be the guy who fumbles this one. Well, that's two quick answer point. Uh, uh, like I said, a block uh, field goal, which I missed. The block and, uh, punt. Uh, uh, block punt, rather. And then the 34-yard line that he fumbled the ball at. Yep. Well, you know, he's southern. You capitalize on it. You Short go up, field. You put a nail in the coffin early. Well, we talk about before the game in the box, a bunch of us, you know, maybe this game could be like Anderson County and Woodford County. You put them away early. Before the ball game, nice little presentation, you know, the school to honor Daniel Ellis, the Richmond police officer killed in the line of duty. Of course, there's not much more we can say that hasn't been said. Ball is caught. Somehow it is caught. Cross midfield by number 20. That's Tanner Souter, the junior. That's about just a uh, pass that there was between three white jerseys and a host of Eagle it defenders. Did. It just found uh, the Grant County person. So. It thread the needle. You missed a funny exchange, Joe, on the, on the last kickoff. Um, they had to take a football back to the sideline. Oh. Wayne Lanehart's been um, tempered the balls. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Plate gate all over. Uh oh. Learn something from Brady. Southern. All over this run. Pick up maybe a couple. There was Hunter Lawson on the carry for Grant County. Pretty basically, they have two, three backs and about Lawson, one or two receiver. Big 28 has 13 scores on the season for Grant County. He's also the punter. Three and a half to play in the opening quarter. If you're a Grant County fan, you're looking for some some type of a score on this possession. Pass over the middle behind him, incomplete. That was nipped again to Souter there. Uh, uh, this this not went right on the money, you know. That old ball pigskin is wet, Mr. Foster. Uh, Third and ten. Can't grip that. You see a little water on the field. It is there? a little damp tonight. We had rain earlier in the day. Big third down at the 47 of Grant County. Nip goes back to pass. He's scrambling to his right. He's going to run with running. it. He's going to get enough for the first and more. He is taken down and dived upon by 44. That's Logan Coomer. Look at that one, the late flag right there for uh, Coomer came hit, belly flopping so. in. Big run, though, by the quarterback. And what i seen uh, today when I read over this whole uh, uh, the, yard, the quarterback if they if he goes well, they do well. It's like uh, any team, isn't it? Just about. Yeah, he's uh, he can throw the ball. Uh, like I said, he he already plays defense uh, two ways. We you know yeah. a lot of these players do. Uh, As we said, Grant County don't have many players, so a lot of guys going two ways. That could play a factor in the second half. Hand off inside to the big man. That's twenty-two. That was Spoon. He's their leading rusher. 425 yards on the ground this season. And let me tell you, he's a second down four. Lawson out there on receiver right there. He is a hoss cat, let me tell you. And off inside once again. Close to a first. Spoon again. It's going to be close. See where they spot it. Appears to be a yard short. All right, maybe a couple yards short. Going to be a third down. Third and two. Southern needs a stop now. Oh, they jumped again. That's twice he's caught him with the cadence. So they jump off sides. And both times it has resulted in a Grant County first down. Defense is a little jumpy out there. You want to get after it. You got to play smart. The five yards gives a first down inside the 20, inside the red zone, Grant County. There goes Spoon again for a couple. He gets inside and picks up about four. Okay, 
David Williams on to tackle number 21 for the Eagles. Second down now, six. Three receivers, two backs. Inside handoff, goes nowhere. Spone just ran into the middle of the Eagle defense on that one. Looks like he's going to get a workout tonight. There's, yeah. you know, four or five carries about in a row. So 22 seems to be the featured back with 28 being the big bruising back, similar to Carter Smith for Madison Southern. Third down and five. Big third down once again. See if the Eagles can stay on side on this one. Here comes the passing down right here, I believe so. He's right going to he's gonna bark it out. And I believe they move this time. We have a false start. On 52 there yep. for uh, Grant County. Big man off the side got a little excited on that one. It was Michael Crook uh, kind of uh, went jumped the gun right there a little bit. Crook a senior. Should have known better. Backs it up now, third and ten. If you're the Eagles now, you feel a little bit better on third and ten. You can, you know, give up a couple yards. Still force a fourth down as we take it down to 20 seconds left in the opening quarter. Three receivers and a broken backfield. Eight seconds. They may not. They may not snap it. Five. Delay a game. Delay a game was called. I don't believe Grant County thought they had more time on the clock than they did. Back him up five more. It's now third and fifteen. That's just a stupid penalty by the Grant County coaching staff. Third and 15. Four seconds even on the clock. Grow the pocket. He's going to roll, keep moving, and now thinking he's Johnny Manziel, he jumps, throws. Incomplete. We're going to have a fourth down and 15 when we come back. Eagles are leading 14-0 after one quarter. Back after this. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, My Real Church, Org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Beginning of the second quarter at Mass Southern High School playoff action, first round. Fourth and 15, you're down 14 nothing. You about have to go for it, and they do. Dropping back screen, complete it. Is he gonna get enough? He will, and more. Touchdown, Great County Braves. Robert Spoon, number 22, the receiver out of the backfield. Also the leading receiver. And Grant County is back into this game, 14 to six. Nip rolled out to the right there, and everybody followed, and nobody didn't stay home. Nobody on the stayed other home side. for the screen pass. For the screen on the left side, which uh, that's the. It's hard to do right though. There. You see that quarterback, you want to go get him, but when the lineman let you go, there's a reason. Big man for the kick. One two, it's going to be blocked. No, it was not. It was up and good. Well, 14-7, Grant County back in it. We'll be back, see what the Eagles can do after this. Thanks to our great sponsors, 
Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, myrealchurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Sports Television, Madison Southern Football. First round playoff action. Grant County scores early in the second quarter, took all of 11 seconds to cut that lead in half, 14 to seven. Opening the first kickoff from them will be a squib picked up at the 15. Up the field, got a crease to the 40, the 45, yeah, he's gone. the 50. He's gone. He laddled no, no, 30, wins. 20. All the way for the score. He didn't skid more on the return. Skid more answers with a touchdown of his own. Twenty to seven. Did he nice job all that? where Peyton kind of followed his block, slowed yeah. up, and made his cut right there at the right time. A great play by uh, Peyton there. Very good play. Skid more answers just like that. Chesney on for the extra point. Kick is up and good. 28 seconds into the second quarter. We've seen two touchdowns. Looks like it could be a shootout from here on out. 21-7. Eagles on top. We'll be back to Madison County School Sports Television after this. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, My Real Church, we want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Madison Southern answered that touchdown from Grant County with a touchdown of their own. Onside squib attempt here, if you will, taken at the 40 for Grant County. Can I have good field position? Exciting run back from Peyton Skidmore in the last awesome. kickoff. Very awesome. This, you know, got the ball there, played it on the hot, picked up. As he said, his block up there, and he hit. They had four. Waited for the Grant block. Retender, uh, Grant uh, defenders there. Then he picked the space to go, and he was gone. <coughs> but uh, you know, like you said, if, well, do we have a, uh, a shootout at the OK Corral? Can not? it turn into a shootout? Fourteen points in the first quarter. Fourteen points in twenty-eight seconds to begin the second. And off inside. Nothing. That's Hunter Lawson. I'd say that kid goes there about 240. Maybe one maybe yard. 250 or something like that. He's a big old hoss cat right there. He's a monster to bring down. Big old boy. 4 the game, we thought he might be the center O-line. I seen the number 28, though, on my roster as a running back, and I'm like, that can't be him. But it was. Well, no offensive change from Grant County. They keep the same same look. Three outs in the back, and the back hands off. 
And he is met once again to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard or two. Brings up a third and long. Carter Smith in on the tackle, along with David Williams. See the quarterback pass it here? I think so. Uh, 30 yeah, I seven. think it's either going to Spoon or a Saddler, 22 or 20. What I've kind of read on stats and stuff, that's who they go to. So we might see another, uh, maybe another a little screen. screen here coming up maybe. He keeps. He rolls. He's been chased. He's going to keep it. Running for the first down and more. Out to the 45 of Grant County. No one accounting for the quarterback, and he is able exactly. to scamper for about 15. Well, that's when you come off there. I don't know if you agree or disagree on uh, uh, this, the uh, swib kick. Uh, it's a short field, well, and I'm, folks, I mean, you know, you're playing, you're playing the uh, roll the dice. If I can stop, we can stop you or not stop you. I'm not a big fan of squib kicking, but you just have to play defense once it is done. I mean, no one accounts for the quarterback on that play, and he's able to pick up the first down with his legs. I guess two he's run for already. We'll probably get back in the mood right here uh, due to do a spoon right here, 22. He's probably take over the duties here on this. Nope. Wide receiver screen out, and he picks up a good chunk of Ball, about six. it's fumble. Ball loose. It's Madison Southern. Southern on it again. Another fumble. Wow. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's Grant County uh, had the momentum and lost it. Now, last Saturday was Halloween. We don't have Halloween right now, Don. Grant County can't handle the rock, and they lose it. That is two turnovers already for Grant County, and coming in heavy underdogs, they can't afford to give up possessions. And plus the block punt that I missed earlier. Yeah, and the block punt. So, uh... So they can't give up possessions like this as Southern takes over at the 40. Hand up. No, it's going to be a keeper from Sloan. He steps up in the pocket and throws it. Get a man. Broken up in the last moments by number four. Blake Johnson did a good job of breaking that one up late. Just a little bit. Mm, uh, not enough mustard oh, on there. Man, it was a nice throw, though. It looked good. But he recovered real quick for the DB there and knocked it away from Goodlow. Goodlow was about ready to take it in for a big uh, TD. It looked like it was going to be a nice one. Good job of Sloan to step up in the pocket to avoid the pressure. <coughs> Hand off to the outside. Getting down line. That's... A.J. Richardson drives it down inside Eagle Territory to the 38. That's a pickup of 20. A good play by A.J. there. He waited for his blocks and this, you know, let the game come to him. So, a nice game from A.J. Beginning of the season, they couldn't make those runs. Late in the season, they're blocking and making them runs. As we talked to Coach Clark about two weeks ago, that's what he was saying. He said they, they just jailed. It took a little while to jail a little bit. 8.50 to play before halftime. Eagles up 21-7, looking for more. Sloan, hand off to Card. No, he keeps. That's not Sloan, that's Stacy. Stacy pitches late, drove out of bounds. Close to a first down, and it is a first down, Eagles. Kept it real good there, bootlegged it out throughout there. Then he kind of pitched it at the last second Pitch it to get late. a few more yards there to get a, almost, well, almost the first down, but second. Yeah, it's going to be second one. inches. The initial spot was a first down. I'd about ask for a measurement on this play. Stacy stays in at quarterback. A.J. Richardson next to him. Oh, High snap. Stacy's got to get on it, and he does. Now, that's why I would have asked for my measurement. If it was a first down, it will be first and whatever. Now it's going to be a right. second and long. Well, not second guess anybody, but, you know, when you're, you're at it's the It's going to be third and long. It was, I'm sorry. It was second and probably the length of the football field or shorter. You know, my motto there is go under center 
in this. You, you got about fall forward for the yeah. first down. But I don't question seven. the play call. That's a good play call, just a bad snap. Second high snap of the night, though, to Stacy. Back in to Sloan under center on a third and 14. Sloan throws it out, but he fall. He completes. But number eight falls. That was Skidmore. Well, Greg Greg County, they bl uh, blitzed right me. there. They blitzed there, yeah. and it kind of got a little short there. And so, uh, From second and short to fourth and 13, the Eagles will be putting it away. Man deep at the 10. Snap's good. They're coming after it. Kicks away. And it will be killed about the 10. Out of bounds. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, Way to flip that field position by the special teams of Madison Southern. I believe that was Carter punting the ball, wasn't it? It is. Carter Smith so, punts. So, uh, that was a nice little punt right there. Now, well, this is where Southern has to dig in a little bit in a little field position here. Now, if you flip right the back. field, keep it flipped. That's right. 7-14 to play before halftime. Grant County Braves taking over at 13, our 11-yard line officially. Same formation we've seen all night. 28. There goes Spoon again for a couple. That is about it. A couple yards on the pickup. Devere on the tackle, big 45, this junior linebacker, Matthew Devere. This is where Southern needs to uh, contain uh, 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 Joseph Kitt, uh, uh, Nip uh, on the uh, uh, quarterback, quarterback Nip. because this is where they uh, this everything goes through him, which you know everybody knows, but. He's the, he's the X factor that nobody don't count on running the ball. They don't have nobody on him. 28 goes into motion. Quarterback's going to look to throw. Keeps it. Now he passes out. Finds a man wide open for a first down and more. Pickup of around 13 for Grant County. AJ with the stop, but not before another first down for Grant County. Quarterback, much like a Johnny Manziel type, can keep the play alive. When he rolls out, uh, everybody gets kind of going once, every which way. Once the pocket extend, breaks he, down. He sends uh, uh, the drive right there, you know, by going out there and, and buying time to pass that ball. 28 comes out to the slot as a slot receiver. Going to be a pass. Oh, they wanted to go 28 on a screen, but broken. And the quarterback just tucks it and runs. Yep. That's the old EKU play right in the flat there, pass right there real quick and, yep. and go. But, Good job uh, not to throw it. That's right. Good and job Southern, by Southern to jump it. Yeah, they smelled that one coming. So, get a little game tape watching there probably the last few days. Madison Southern, should they survive and move on, will be at home again. They have home field throughout the playoffs. And what I've noticed about Grand County, they kind of slows the game down here on their offense way. Boy, poor Grant County is in the district with Highlands, Covcalf, Dixie Heights. Big run, big run for a first down. Met and stopped at the 40. Not before another first down for Grant. Grant County's had some good drives, but they've shot themselves in the foot. Fumble last time out about midfield. They'll be first down and 10 at the five-minute mark. Coach Clark has to be happy the way his team played the first quarter, maybe not as much in the second. Handoff inside, pick up about five. That's 22 once again. Logan Banks on the stop, the senior. And this is one of these drives, you know, you get second five, you can either pass or run on this next yeah, down this here. Is, so you know, like it's either or, A or B here. So Second and five, everything in the playbook is open. The one thing that is not is four and a half minutes before halftime, so you need to get moving if you're Grant County. <laughs> Southern received. Grant County gets the ball first, begin the second half. Flip. 
back to him and oh, it goes fumble. nowhere. Oh, goodness gracious, Grant County just trying everything they can, but that's another fumble. Richardson recovers the fumble. Pretty much he wasn't hit, he just dropped the ball and, you know. Grant you know what that was? That was, um, what do you call that? <laughs> I think it was going to be a half pack pass back, yeah. back to the, uh, or it could have been, you know, there several you, things yeah. he could have done right there. Trying to surprise I, Madison Southern I and they surprised himself. He pitched back there and he was going to throw the ball back to the quarterback or he's going like to pass himself. They've had a couple good drives, shot themselves in the foot. Third we'll, turnover we'll on we'll the night. We'll never know right there so what they was going to do. So It's a third turnover. Eagles take over at 4.07 to play. Looking to score their own. On his feet still. Down, close to a first down was Eads. Eight Eads with the carry. He kept on turning them legs and wasn't going to go down. Sloan checks in at quarterback. Eagles would love to stick another one in the end zone before half. Sloan gets his play. Pitch. And he is met immediately. Nowhere to go for A.J. Richardson had no shot as a defensive player in the backfield almost immediately as he received his pitch. Third down, upcoming. Nice play by uh, 91. I think there, he's the leading tackler. 91. Uh, for him. Uh, Brings up a third down five now for the Eagles. That was Mitch Patrick, uh, Patrick there, and uh, he's the leading tackler for Grant County. Sloan going to pass out over the middle. Receiver, tip, tip, falls to the ground. Incomplete, fourth and five now. Well, Clark leaves the offense on the field. Offense stays on. As we have fourth and five at the 35. Hopefully, you know, he might, he might be able to try to draw them off sides at first, see if they'll jump a little bit. Can't punt it too close well, can't and punt too it, far to kick it. Right. So but, you're uh, in no man's land. He still might be able to draw them off before he uh, hikes the ball there. So Could burner time, you know, it could be a try to draw off sides, take the time out. Nope. Run it. Carter kept it. Landon Stacy's with a first down and more. Still on his feet to about the 12 yard line. As we've said all about year long, Donald, it's the triple head monster. You don't know who's going to get the ball. You've got AJ, you've got Stacy, Carter Smith in the backfield, Nate Eads. I mean, they're all great little running backs. They can all handle the ball. First Carter down. Smith in the backfield right here. At the 12. Two minutes, 2.20 left before half. A.J. cuts back, cuts, cuts. A.J. close. He's going to be taken down inside the five. About the one-yard line maybe somewhere around there. A.J. cutting, cutting, and all. He's down to around the two. Two, three-yard line. Ju juking going on. It there, was. To say. First and goal for the Eagles. Well, Grant, ha Grant two, County has a lot of hands-on hips right now. They've been out there well, for a they, little while. They play both ways. Yeah, that's Not, both ways. As we said, that number game may catch them in the second half. First down two, a minute 45 left. All three timeouts. Handoff. Crushes. Score. A touchdown for the Eagles once again. Stacy with his that was second a score. In, uh, back there uh, in the backfield, Landon Stacy. So. Stacy with the score, his second of the game. Makes it 27 7. Pending extra point. Jersey lines up. Snap is good. Hold is good. The kick is barely good, but it's good. One and a half to play before halftime. Eagles lead it 28-7. Back after this, timeout.
Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. Shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Mass County School Sports Television at Mass Southern High School. Playoff action, first round action. Grant County comes out in 75, and they trail it 28-7. Right before halftime. We have some umbrellas coming up, so it has begun to ring. Onside. Loose ball. Loose ball, but I think he falls on it. The referee's getting nah, down there. He, he fell on it. Fell on it right there at he the 45. So they're going to have it at the 45 with 131 to play. But I said, though, it's starting to rain, so that ball is going to be wet for Grant County. Grant County gets the ball to begin the second half. But they need a score here if they want to stay in the ball game. I believe they're in probably my air one out. What do you think, Coach Don? We haven't seen, well, when he has thrown, he's been okay, I guess. When he's rolled out, you know. But, but key he's for been Southern. He's in the pocket a lot. He's gotta, been rolling out. You're going to have to keep him in the pocket. If he gets out of the pocket, Southern could be in trouble. Spoon's in the backfield and uh, Nickel defense. Is on the, he's uh, going to keep her. He's going to get out. Nothing. Maybe a yard. Well, it stops the clock, though, right there. Yeah. So They have all three timeouts, though. Both teams have three timeouts. And that'll make it about six and, uh, second and nine, I yeah, think. Yeah, second and nine, second eight and a half. Good low with the run out. Ran him out of bounds. Well, Southern just don't need to get here napping, you know. This, no, you can't let them just throw one deep on you. Yeah, this does uh, kind of fall asleep there, but. Uh, Three receivers up top now and one to the near side. There oh, goes. there it is. Got a man. It's picked it's off. Sean Des Goodlow with the pick. Looked like a center field in baseball right there waiting on that one. Ball was on her throne and Goodlow was in position. The fourth turnover of the night for Grant County. Poor Grant County can't get nothing going tonight. And you talk about deflate them on their uh, drive to stay in this game. That might have, you know, took the win out of their sails, yeah. I say. Right before halftime here, only good thing, Southern's got a long way to go. But you never know about Coach Clark. I tell you what. Minute he, 15. He goes after it. Well, you got to stop this running game of Southerns. One receiver, one quick man. They give it to the quick guy. He breaks free to the 40. It's, is that A.J. down to the 45? Richardson to the Eagles, 45-yard line. I tell you what, he cussed uh, cut and cussed and everything. I've never seen anything like that. And he's uh, just, uh, he hits that afterburner there, Don. Once, once A.J. sees a hole, he hits it. And he is gone. Sloan with a keeper. Throws it out. Receiver got it. Up. Oh, down. First down once again inside the 35. Good low with the reception. That's what I saying saying to go there. Coach Clark, he just. Timeout Eagles. Timeout Grant County. He puts the gas on there, and he's never going to let off of the gas. Sorry, that is a timeout to the Eagles. Our first 54 seconds to go before the half, and the Eagles on a big run and a big pass. Looking for more. Well, Grant County is back on their heels, and they're tired as they can be. Mass Southern's got the big four-headed monster back there in the backfield with four, four running backs. 
and Aaron Sloan and Goodlow. Well, I like I like the Eagles' chances to get something here. I do too. And and the thing is, we talked there a couple of weeks ago with Coach Clark. This weightlifting program and uh, nutrition and stuff, they've implemented that a couple of years ago when these guys was probably a freshman, and it's now starting to pay off. Oh, yeah. And, and they're in there. They're stronger. Clark's been here long enough now. These kids were freshmen in his program, so these are his kids, you know. He didn't inherit these kids. These guys have been in the program since day one. And, you know, that's really got to be a good feeling. You know, you're sitting here and you know what it used to be. But I'd now tell you what, what has to be now. a good feeling for the Eagles is when you have guys like me and others ride them off getting three wins, you know. Here you are at four and five. But you got a home playoff game. You won your first district ever, and you're showing everybody that can't count out the heart of the athletes on the field. Right. It's how you finish. doesn't matter who you lose last year. It's who you have this year. That was a false start, not called. Little handoff inside. Got one man to beat. Down to the 10, to 5. Taken out of bounds inside around the 3. Big run. Yeah, a lot of the fans right there wanted a horse collar. I, I think it was a pretty good play. It was around it the It was pads. close. It's good more. 46 seconds before the half. Oh, we got a flag on the play. Appears to be holding against your Eagles. Back him up. So the good run goes for Knott. As it is going to be a first down and eight. Sloan throws it out to the far sideline. Bobbled out of bounds. Incomplete. So... Kind of Second down, I'm coming. Right there to, it is a long throw. It's a long throw, and the ball kind of wobbled a little bit and had a little pressure there. I said, too, it's raining a touch out there, it appears, so the ball's a little wet. The hold in the gates to big run. And back Steagle's up. 40 seconds to go before halftime. Number six, Sloan, under center, on second and seven. You got Carter Smith in the backfield. Good low to the wide left there. Skidmore in the backfield as well. In motion is Skidmore. Sloan. Fill under pressure. Throws it away. Ooh, I think that could have been maybe a late hit right there. Get off him. the quarterback, dude. Big 91 needs to get on his sideline. 35 seconds left now and a third down for the Eagles. 91 drove Sloan out of bounds and appeared to say a little bit. So the holding penalty may come back and bite us, as may keep points off the board. Good low and uh, Skidmore on the left side of receivers there. Uh, Rosa to his left, Aaron does. Stops, pops and throws. Got a man, broken up. Man was triple covered, but he was there. Fourth and seven at the 30. Bring in Stacy and try to run something, I guess. Here's what the Eagles are going to do. They may take a timeout to talk about it. Or they may not. Well, Sloan stays in. <laughs> yep, Sloan checks back in. Rain is coming down now pretty good. As the... Southern crowd is getting the umbrellas up. Nice little shower falling. I formation. Nope. Now we go into motion. Two receivers, empty backfield. An ace backfield. Oh, he's throwing a pick. No. The Southern receiver barely tipped that. He yeah. knew it was over his head, so let me just tip it right there. I was there. afraid that was picked. 21 seconds, and Grant County will take over as the rain is now a coming down. All oh, the people running for shelter like they're going to melt. 21.4. So they have everybody back there about midfield or back there where they just, you know, guard against some kind of. <laughs> Prevent uh, defense. Yes. Yeah. Four receivers for Grant County. Low snout. 
He's going to row. He's going to keep. He's going to run out of bounds. Absolutely nothing on that play. Poor Grant County can't get nothing going offensively. And it's not really Southern's defense doing it. They're shooting themselves. Well, you know, the fumbles and the fumbles have killed them and the interception and the low snap and 15.8 seconds before half. Not careful, we'll have another lay of game penalty here called. Inside handoff, just get us to halftime and big man out for about an eight yard gain. Clock down to 10 to nine. Appears the first half will end with the Eagles leading 28-7. We're gonna go down to Samantha Burford. She's gonna talk to Coach John Clark about the first half. You guys have definitely controlled the first half. You know, four fumble recoveries, I mean the interception, tell us about it. Yeah, I think we're playing pretty well. We got to capitalize when we get down here, though. I mean, we're uh, we're working our two-minute drill there at the end. They're trying to trying to put the ball back in. Thought we managed the clock well. We've got to pitch and catch it a little bit better, and then uh, we'll clean up a couple things. But we've got it. We've got the score when we cross the fifty. Right? Are you worried at all about the weather? Anybody get injured? Anything like that? No, we're fine. We're we're playing football. We got to we got we got to get better. So we're a young team. We can't afford to take it down off. Number 28 on the other team. Oh, no, we're just going to keep doing what they're doing. We're, we're fine. We're adjusting. I mean, uh, they've not done anything that, that, that scares me to anything. They had the one screen play, which right. uh, was a pretty good play by them. They hit it underneath our backers. I mean, it's going to happen sometimes. Okay, good luck, Coach. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, We've got you covered. ExpressRoofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church. MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors Berea Online, First Gear. WKYT.com and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Welcome back after halftime at Southern High School. Playoff action. Eagles lead it 28-7. Grant County receives the ball to begin the second half. Eagles look pretty good in that first half. A couple mental mistakes on a couple offside penalties to give Grant County a two first downs. But other, other than that, Eagles have looked good. Yeah, they had two good drives there. One right before half, they took over around the, I think, around 15, 20 yard line and drove it down the field in probably about a minute and 30 seconds or something like that. They have forced four turnovers on the night and blocked a punt. Grant County just can't get anything going offensively as they are set to receive the second half opening kickoff. Carter Smith, the kicker. Look for another squib down the middle of the field. Luke Walters back deep to receive. And it's Cannon Park is Johnson oh, goodness. there, too. They surprised so. me and kick it. Taking about four. And brought down quickly at the 25. Walters had nowhere to go. And good. Uh, uh, everybody coming down there on Southern right there, staying in their lanes and no the tackle there. where to go for the return man. As you said, Grant County sets up shop at the 20. 28 yard line. Eagles need to keep doing what they're doing, and Grant County has to find a way to limit the turnovers if they want to stay in this game. Inside handoff, nothing. Take it out quickly by the defender. Justice Williams on to stop the junior. Throws him back for a loss of three. Second and 13. 
Bring up second down and 14 for the Braves. Great County now with three receivers and a back. Well, I'll take it back. There's four receivers out there now and a back. So they may be looking to throw it. They do. They pass out and complete it. The first down and more to the 45. Well, good uh, Goodlow uh, backed off up there, and he cut, hit him on that inside slant, yep. and it was just open all day long right I thought there. Goodlow could make a jump at it, but as you said, they threw it well. Well, they're, they're seeing him. He's backing up and, you know, backstepping there a little bit. He's not, you know, he's he's 10 yards almost downfield pretty close. He's, he's widening the gap here a little bit. Two backs now, back to the usual formation we saw in the first half. Three receivers, two backs. Hand off to the second man through. It's the big boy. Pick up about four. Almost lost the ball once again, though. Carter Smith brings him down. Winner of this ball game gets the winner of Anderson County, Covenant Catholic. That game is tied at seven right now. Motion man. It's going to be a run. Clearing the lane was 28. 22 is your carrier once again. That is Robert Spone. That brings up about a third and let's call it two. Banks and Williams on a stop for the Eagles. Third and a short two, long three, long two. Big third down for the Eagles. As Grant County's at midfield, they're going to throw the little bubble screen. There's a block in the black. There was. There, there, no was call. call. Close to a first down, still digging. And by the spot, appears to have it. Spone on the reception. Carter Smith again with the tackle. And it is enough for our Grant County first down. As you said, that was a block, it looked like to me, but. Yeah, Stacy was getting blocked in the black. The boys in white. There, so. Didn't say it that way. Handoff, digging up for about a five yard gain. Spone once again. Banks Williams once again teams up for the stop. Plenty of time for Grant County to get back in as we're at the 9 9.50 mark, third quarter. Opening drive of the third second half. There goes Spoon again on the right side. Close to a first down once again, and he has it. Be awful close. Looks like a little short there, I believe. Maybe. Defense is just giving up too many big yards now on the on the ground. It is short. It'll be second and one. Sorry, third and one. Keeper. No. Oh. He breaks free to the 20, the 15, the 10, taking down about the 12. Mr. Spoon once again breaks through the line. Well, you know, it's it's not a, a guessing game right now. Spoon's catching the, carrying the ball every time. It's either here or the, or the uh, 28. Yeah, 28, or, you know, your quarterback might run there every now and then, and uh, Nip will be maybe. So it comes where you're going to have to start keying on that guy right there. And uh, where he goes, you need to yeah, go. You may have to spy him. Injured player on the field at the 7.53 mark. Players up and up the field. So 28-7. Grant County looking to tack in another one. Cut this lead in half. So it's first and 10 at around the 12.
Inside handoff, and he rumbles board. to the touchdown. And Southern's defense just seemed like they're this. Uh, Lacedatical? Yeah, you well, say it? yeah. That was really, that was about a four minute and a half drive right that there. That was too easy, wasn't it? Too easy there, you know. Uh, they're going to have to answer the call again here if this thing might get tight. 28 4, 28 13, pending extra point. Well, 28 there. Lawson's going to do the extra point as well. Snap high, hold is down, and kick is good. Grant County cuts it in half, 28-14. Eagles getting the ball when we come back. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. Shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. We're back to Madison Southern High School. Grant County's cut it in half, 28-14. Eagles are set to receive if Grant County kicks to them. They don't. They onside it. Pop it up. Kind of fair catch right there. Yep. Was a good move there. Good possession. And Grant kind of. I, 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 I don't understand, but <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I don't know if he's trying to find a spot to drop the ball. Now you give Southern, you know, 55 yards to pay dirt. Yep. I, that's not a, a. I don't think it's a good, good coaching decision by uh, the coach. If you're going to uh, onside it, onside it. For uh, Kevin kick Sipple it on the ground. So is this not a really a good good thing to do right here? Because you just got back in the game 28-14, then you want to do something like that? I just question that. Eagles had a short field all night when they scored. and Oh, the ball is on the ground, loose still. Just fall on it, and they do. Sloan and the center. Miscommunication on that. No exchange. As you saw, it, it rained pretty good at the end of the second quarter halftime, so ball is probably wet. Wayne's got to do a good job whopping the ball down for the Eagles. Brings up second 13. Handoff up the middle for nothing. The chippy action going on down low. Well, I'll tell you what, what Grant County has done, they've come out the uh, locker room. They're the one on fire right now. They're the one right now. Is Jared this Simpson game. and Levi Howard. Simpson and Blake Johnson. A little disagreement out there. Nothing happened. Number four receives a little talking to from the official. As it is now, it's a big third down now. Third and 11. Oh, the momentum, Grant County's way. AJ pitch, handoff inside, nothing. Nowhere to go. Nothing happening on that play. Let Loss of a couple. Uh, Grant County has came back in, the, in this half right there at halftime, and they're ready to roll. Now, think, Southern's been kind of lackadaisical, like you just said. I think Grant back. County knew, had they not turned it over four times, they'd, they'd be, be in this in ball game. game. Yes, they would. Now they're going to take over in decent field position, perhaps, as it is fourth and 13. And Carter Smith will be kicking it away. Nope. Yeah, we had a flag right here. Not sure what the flag could be on, unless it's a legal substitution. 
Wait for the call. We have it. Dead ball. False start. How do you have a false start where you – Two, I don't think that's possible. Well, I don't know. Maybe two men are in motion. That might be what he called. Back him up even further now. Fourth and 18. Grant County has a guy at the 30. Waiting and on the punt. they're coming after this punt right here. They show block. They fall back to set up their turn. Nice, nice punt. punt. Fair caught at the oh, 25. The, ball. the ball's loose. Nope. Yep, very fortunate the quarterback from Grant County did that, that ball that's go right straight up back into his arms. Good job by Smith to flip the field on him a little bit. Take it over at about the 24. The defense of Mass Southern needs to show up now and get a quick three and out. 5-17 to play in the third quarter. Eagles lead it 28-14. See if they pick on Goodlow again on the outside receiver. Nope, handoff in the middle. Ball Ball's loose. Fumble, fumble. Pick it up. Oh, they let Grant County get back, get back on, on it. it. And there's a host of Southern four mm. or five people around and finds the Grant County mm. person that this falls on it. What a lucky break for Grant as it bounces right back in his arm. Woo. Mitchell with a recovery for them, number 63. Well, second down 12 now. It's a loss of two. Bad lucky to get that one back. Eagles could have put a nail in that coffin had they got that one. That's right. We Leading 28-14. I think Southern's got a spy on their quarterback 12 right here. I think he's going to roll out. Drops back. And there comes that swing pass little, back. Little screen once again. That was good tackle by Goodlow. Saves a first down. It's going to be a little short. You said Goodlow with the stop. Going to be about five short, so brings up a third and five. Now, Coach Dunn, you're, you're uh, Grant County right here. Let's get back to the huddle there. What do you think they can up coming here? A little screen pass again, or they're going to? Yeah, this is not four down territory yet, so they need to pick up the first tier. He's Quarterback. Out. Uh oh. He's in trouble. Tucks it, tucks it, throws on the ground. No, oh, he caught it. I should, I, I, uh, the, the change of momentum has this uh, spun wow. last uh, possession that's down here, too. I'm impressed. So, uh, I am impressed with the quarterback for Grant. As he, when he gets out of the pocket, his receivers do a good job of extending the play and coming they back for him. They, they, they come back the for him. 28-14, 340 to go before in the third quarter. Grant County moving. Two receivers near side. Handoff. Spoon. Upended. Pick up about five, though. Brings up a second and five. Carter Smith on the stop. And a manageable second down. Southern defense is uh, Coach Don's going to have to dig in right here. They have to. They haven't stopped them yet in the third quarter. They need to stop right here. Back for the pass, over the middle, a little is, high. Oh, my goodness. And he dropped it. That was INT, and that was uh, a Richardson had that. Hunter had that right there that's wrapped up and, and popped right out of his bread basket there. thought Hunter had that one as well. As Hit him right on the numbers. That's why he plays defense. Third down, seven now. Now, do you go the blitz here and go, um, try to go and get 12 to, uh, for a sack? Or My worry get? is on a blitz, he gets out of that pocket. He's shown he can he can run. Now, he's been rolling about every time to his right side. You he, know. Wants, he wants to move the pocket. He's no gonna move no doubt the right. about that. Two backs. Might be another slant right here. That's the way he's going after. He's running. Got to come up. Somebody's got to come up. He got the first and more. Uh, still running out to around the 38 of Grant County. I think they have, Southern has no answer for right now on Nip. Mm -mm. Right now they're a quarterback. None at all. Told you. He can move his – he's picked up three first downs, I can remember, on the ground, and probably their leading rusher. Another big game. 
28-14. Eagles are on top. Grant County's moving it. Stacked receivers far side. Look for the balls on the ground. Good job by the quarterback just to fall on it. Try, don't make anything happen. Keep possession. That's a big loss, though. It's a big loss, but, you know, with this quarterback running and passing a little bit right here, he's a little bit in rhythm. Like I said, it's a long second and 17 probably. Yep. Second and extremely long. Now, this is where you uh, – uh, if Grant County throws if, a little draw here, or do you go after – If you're uh, going to yeah, blitz, blitz seven. here. Bubble screen, he drops it. Big man can't handle it. Hit him in the pants. Brings him a third and 17. Now this is where you better watch the screen because they will run it once again. Well, they run that on the uh, long side but of the field. But here's something to think about. They're going to run that screen. They may fake a screen and yes. catch you on the backside. We'll see what they draw up here with th uh, 2.13 to play before the fourth quarter. With spoons out there, they're leaving Three receiver receivers. Out there. Oh, man, all kinds of confusion. We have a timeout. Timeout to Grant County. They want to talk about it. 2.13 to play in the third quarter. Grant County trails it 28-14 with the ball. Back after this. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, myrealchurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Back to Mass Southern. First round playoff action as Grant County has the ball and down 14 on a crucial, third, what is it, third and 17. Eagle crowd comes alive as the quarterback drops back to heave one, and he does. Got a man wide open over the middle down to the 14 yard line of the Eagles. He found a soft spot in the secondary. Big play for Grant County. Wow. Goodlow gave him the in, inner part of the field there, Eight. and it was just third and 17 on the money. pickup. Wow. First and 10 at the 13. Looking to cut this to a touchdown lead. Eagles. I think, I don't, what happened to the Southern team of the first half? They haven't come back out. Quarterback keeper. Slips through to the five, the four, the three. He's down to around the one. Quarterback keeper to the one yard line. So, well, Grant County's got a little uh, pep in their step right now. And, hey. we, and uh, our def the defense for Southern has this. Uncle kinda... Mo is all about Grant County right now. As he's on that sideline over across the way. Minute 35, 28, 14. On the verge of being 28, 21. Stacked backfield for but Grant County. We know County. who's getting the ball here, big Keeper. boy. And he slips in on touched. 28-20. They have cut it to a touchdown lead. They have outscored the Eagles 14-0 in the third quarter. Stunned silence in the crowd. But Southern as well as us. don't have no energy right now on their defense, and they're, they're just kind of going through the motion, walking don't, around. I don't understand why. I mean, first half they forced four, four turnovers. Snap, kick, good. 28-21. It's a seven-point lead now. All of a sudden we have a ball game. And Madison Southern 
A buck 23 before the fourth quarter. We'll be back after this. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, My Real Church, Org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Back to Mass Southern High School where Grant County has cut this down to seven. Got to say, like, I'm surprised. Just like you were saying, we're both surprised. And in this Southern, I don't see them flying around defense. It seemed like have they ran out of gas. All the emotion seems to be gone as they're going to scrub it down the middle of the field. And he just gets possession at the 40 from the up man. Eagles have got to get a drive going. At least two or three first downs to... Get your defense a rest. Seems like the right. defense has been on the field the entire quarter. Well, pretty, pretty much so because pretty much we've been on here like about two minutes and we'll have the time possession. 21 here. So yeah. we're going to have the ball about three or three and a half minutes or something like that, and they've thrown the rest of the nine minutes. No three and outs for the Eagles. Give it to the man through the middle, and he goes – Early nowhere. There's a Finley on 66 yep. to be ejected from the game. He just kicked the Southern player. Needs to be going out of the game. We'll see what they call. It's going to be a penalty against Grant County on Sportsmanlike. And he has been. Nope. 33 ejection, but he didn't. To be honest, he should be it's ejected a for that game. I've seen that. What I've seen, I watched that play. The kid should be out. Did of he kick game. him? There's, he did kick him twice. There's no reasons of that call. Then that's bad sportsmanship for Grant County. He should be gone. Who did he kick? Uh, I think he kicked. Uh, if he did kick someone, good. I think Justin Williams. I think. Maybe good job by there. the Southern player not to retaliate. Yeah, he was laying on the ground. The guy kicked him twice. So uh, Grant County with a stupid penalty puts the Eagles across midfield. Maybe it's what the Eagles need to wake up now. The crowd seems to have woken up. See what a running game just isn't there. You know, run right there about at seven, eight yards, maybe. There you go. He took about eight. I was watching the play in the back end again. Grant County player comes in a little chippy. Now, if Grant County is going to stay alive in this game. They cannot have any of those stupid penalties that's going to give away first downs. We go under 30 seconds and a second and two. Southern's probably got one more play right here to run before this end of this third quarter. Yeah. A handoff. Ball! Sloan back on it. But, oh, uh, man, it's going to make up a big third down, though. I can't tell if that's either Sloan or the – it was right back – it was right in the – There's a uh, handoff, man. Handoff right into him, and this, they just dropped the ball. I want to blame more – on your quarterback, and I wouldn't run it back on that play, but in the three, we have a good one, 28-21. We'll have a third down. We come back. We're watching Madison County School Sports Television. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church. MyRealChurch.org. 
We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. For Beckham S. Southern, where's a big third down and five for the Eagles as the crowd roars to life. Trying to get the Eagles a first down. Twelve minutes away. You've got about almost about eight in the box right here. We're going to have to figure out something here to, with this play. One of these teams will be moving on in the playoffs in 12 minutes. Wow. There's your perfect example. Eight in the box. There's nowhere to go. Stacy. <laughs> nothing. I, I, I don't understand that at all. I, I really don't. They came up to the line, and, and they knew it was going to be what a What it is, you have to have faith in your line to be able to move them. Fourth and five, and Sloan checks in. The Eagles going for a big fourth down. This could be a momentum change it, in the ball game. Well, I believe really big not, momentum change I think in here. The, the momentum has swi uh, switched uh, uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, but if the Eagles quarter. pick up the first down, Sloan drops. It's going to be a screen. It's tipped and broken up by the Grant County defender. Turnover on downs. I just, I just think that was wow. a wrong thing to do. I think I kick the ball and go with them. If they go 80, 90 Try to yards, pin make, them. Them, make them earn it. And, and that right there was just you're rolling the dice at the wrong time there. Well, as we think, the play is done. Grant County is going to take over in good field position at the 38, 37-yard line. The defense must show up on this play, on this possession, or we'll have a tie game to talk about. 11-15 to play in the ball game. And it's a handoff to the big boy. Maybe two, three yards on the pickup. Well, Southern's not Lawson. getting beat on the first down, Don. It's, it's the second and third down that they just cannot stop nobody. And it's first down. We're good, aren't we? It's the later down. Big man pushes for two. Second and eight. Hunter Lawson, the big kid from uh, Grant, kind of goes out, though. That leaves Spoon right here. If I'm, 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 I'm a betting man. One of my linebackers needs to at least spy him. It's going to be Spoon. It's coming down to Spoon right here. It's just straight up the middle. or is this, Two receivers uh, near side. There it goes There's right up the, the handoff. And he breaks free. Close to a first down. Maybe a yard short. Well, I'll tell you what Grant County's doing. They're blowing Southern's uh, defense. Uh, 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 Their O-line. It's controlling line of scrimmage. It, it, yes, sir. That's the bottom line. There it is. Third and one. The Grant County offensive line is controlling the line of scrimmage right now. Right, right now. We know who's going to get the boy right, uh, the ball right here. It's lost. 28. Big old boy. So he's going to plow through for a first down. down. That's a first down. He got the yard he needed. He's a big man to bring down for a yard. Well, we're at the 10-minute mark, and it's 28-21, and it's first down and 10 at uh, Grant County. At midfield. At midfield. Grant County moving. Don, what do you tell your defense here? I mean, you know, this you, – you've honestly, not played at all uh, good in the third quarter, and so far in the Honestly, fourth. Grant County shot themselves in that first half. Yes, so I agree. We're lucky to be this far right now. You know, Grant County with the four turnovers. There goes 12. There goes – Nip again for six, seven, eight quarterback, yards. Quarterback keeper. What you tell your defense is somebody's got to step up and make the play. And you can't have Carter Smith making every tackle for you anymore. I mean, the rest of the, the other 11 going to have to step up their game. And so, like she said, if they step no up here, you know, the, ball, the kid's going to throw the ball and, and, you know, over their head there. It's a four, go four look. Perhaps a nickel. There goes Spoon again. Picks up the first down, bad close to it. He's got the first down on the spot. We're, like I said, we're good on first, second, third. We just we can't start running water right now. As you said, there's a crack in the defense. And Spoon goes out. He's a little bit limping right there. I don't know. 
Brothers carried it 2,900 times tonight. Seems like he's had every touch. And he's down on the sidelines over there for Grant County. He may be cramping. Yeah, he is down. Hopefully he's not hurt. I mean, I hate to see a good player like that go down, but They're just blowing the next man the steps uh -huh. in, though, and rushes for nine. That's the big old boy, Lawson. They have Eagles. no answer right now. Eagles None. need to take a timeout, regroup. Well, if we got the timeouts. We might need to save them right there at the end. You never know. We might need them. Nine and a half to play in regulation. Twenty-eight in the backfield, alongside Nip, the quarterback. Somebody from Southern's just going to have to make the play, step up and make the play. Twenty-eight chugs for a first down, Grant County. Boy, oh boy, they are just knocking our line off the ball. They're controlling the line. This is just crazy. Two halves can make a difference. First half, the defense and the Eagles look nice, and they couldn't stop a Pee Wee football team right now. Once again, the big man's going to rush for about six, seven on the ground. Eagles switching players out. Can't find the right combination to slow them down yet. Grant County just eats the clock up. They just run, 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 you know. Coming in, we knew Grant County ran the ball a lot. They play ball control. Three receivers, one, two backs. Well, you know, your only option here is uh, Lawson or Nip is going to run. One of the two. Second six. There goes Nip. Quarterback out of the pocket. They just can't get a hold of Nip. And a first down once again. That's three consecutive first downs for Grant County as we kick it down to seven minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Southern's hands is on hips right there. The defense has been out there a long time at all this half. The sparse Grant County crowd has come to life. Crossed away. They are in the red zone at the 20, 19 yard line. Here Quick comes the ball there. The wide receiver screen. He gets nailed and a late hit. And I think uh, Grant County got a block on Goodlow on the back. Yeah, there you go. Goodlow is down and appears to be injured. A late hit, block in the back. On 28 right there, Lawson. See what the officials call, as well as check on the status of the injured eagle. Call from the official is blocking the back. So as a blocking the back, they'll be moving backwards. 5:51 to play before in regulation. Eagles lead it by a touchdown. We'll take a quick time out. Be back after this. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. We're back with 5.35 to play now as the clock is moving. Grant County with the block in the back has backed them up to a first and 15. Shondaz Goodlow, the injured eagle on the previous play and Running back, picks up. Nice little chunk of yardage. 
Pick up about five, makes it a second and ten. Back to the original line of scrimmage. And this is four downs for Grant County. As Definitely. well expected right here that they're going to do. So we got a second and 11. 22 back on the field. Or is he? Yeah, he's back on the field. Spoon back in. Yep. Snap was low. So it goes to the right. He's going to have to throw got it, it this time. He throws it out of, out of bounds. bounds. Big third down upcoming for the defense of the Eagles. But as you said, it's probably, it is four down territory. 5.38 to play. So Southern knows either it's Spoon or it's going to be Nip's going to be making this play. One of the two. So uh, if, uh, do you, what do you guess here? Do as you, soon as I say come after him, he's going to throw it over your head. But I think it's going to stay on the ground. Now, would they run this slant in? Maybe like That's they did I'm last time of. there. And it, be, it might be wide open. They run open, that so, slant. Uh, they can run a screen. I mean. The defense needs to get him to the outside where he can catch, catch there. Southern there. crowd coming to life on this big third down. There goes There's the inside slant. Inside. And they wait till they caught it for they made a move. First we down. Just, we just said the slant was coming in. you got to take that away. You've got to push jump him out. To, you got to jump the slant. Or jump, get on on him and make him go out. Don't let him come in. Let him go out toward the sideline. Your friend is your sideline. Big first down. This, a, this a, uh, You have to jump that slant. I know if we can see it, the boys up top can see it. Clock's going about 520 go. Grant County on the Walk ground, in. score. They just don't have no answer. Uh, Southern standing straight up, and their defense is just gassed. They're, they're, uh, they're just done on the defense side of the ball. Snap is up. Snap is. He's, he's in. in. Now he's in. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, there it is. He's in. 28, 26, 27. You're talking about momentum, the switch in that second, second half. quarter. That's that, I mean, the third quarter when that first few minutes, it was done. They're, I don't get it. 28, I, you know, 27. Now, Southern now walking around like, you know. Southern's defense has been on the field the entire second half, half, seems like. Grant County's confused. Grant County may have to burn a timeout here. They have. Which is not good either. That leaves them about, what, two timeouts done? Yeah. Grant County takes one, 28-27. Extra point coming up to tie this game. Back after this. Thanks to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, myrealchurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Gonna go for two. Back to Mass Southern as Grant County's lining up. It's going what big appears boy. to be a two point conversion. It's going big boy or 12 running. They do. They're going for two for they the lead. Wrap him up. Wrap him up, boys. They hold him out. Eagles stand on defense. They hold him out. 28 27. Eagles with the stand when they needed it. Big stand from your defense. 
Uh, uh, Coach Tom, let Talk me about you. them all you want. They made a stand when they needed. Let me pick your brain right there. If you're Grant County, uh, Grant County coach, do you? I, I go for the extra point. <laughs> I, I, I think that's what I would do. But on the road, he's thinking, my defense has played well in the second half, get the lead. And he also knows, you know, the kicker game at Mass Southern, not very strong. So, But 28-27 is the lead for the Eagles as we're getting ready for this kickoff. Only thing that scares me now is the onside kick attempt will probably be coming. Because now Grant County is down to one timeout. They brought one earlier in the third. So they have one timeout, and they trail by one. And we're up for the onside kick attempt. One man deep. Seems like the way he placed the ball there, it's going to go all the way back to the back here. Um, Southern needs to be on their toes right here. They are. They We're be, up. Uh, Hans' uh, team is out. Kicks over their heads right here just in no man's land. That's fine. He kicks it deep. Taken. Finds a hole. Slips in it. It slips out to the 40, the 45, the 50, 45. AJ all the way down. But there is a yellow hanky on the field. You, I, I tell you what, you've got to be kidding me. Call uh, the, the uh, flag right there. Yes, there's a yellow hanky on the field at the 45. And it is against your Eagles. And that, uh, that flag came way back for the back, Judge. Yep. Wow. Take the score away. Block in the back against the Eagles. A late flag. He was already gone through that hole, and that referee threw that flag after he was 10, 15 yards downfield. 28-27 Eagles lead. They just need to get some first downs, and this one is over. So, folks, buckle up right here. We're in for a ride for the last 442. O-line's got to do a better job. A.J. to the outside. Cuts it back in. Still on his feet. Pick up about five. I'm sorry, it's Eads, not 25. It's 23. Eads with the pickup. The main thing here, we just got we got to get that first down. Clock's going to tick. Like you said, they, yeah. they got one time out. They can only so. stop the ball once. Stop the, the clock, clock once. The clock is their friend right here. We just got to have a couple first downs here. This game will be over. Stacy checks in at quarterback. And I'm sure Grant's going to send eight or nine in the box. Yeah, I mean, they're going to stack it up and try to stop the run. So what do Coach Clark has in surprise here? You think? Did he pull something out of his sleeve here? He's throwing an incomplete pass. Clock stops. That's what Grant County wants. Keep it on the ground. Motion. High snaps. Stacy pitches. A first down and more. And who is that man? Cross midfield. Carter Smith has stepped up. A big first down for the Eagles. Nice pitch by Stacy at the last minute there. Yep. Him go up there for the next a nice gain right there. Well, folks, we're down to 339. Good to see Goodlow back in the game. She's out wide receiver. Pitch. One man to beat. He does. He gets it inside, but host of Grant County Braves waiting. Yeah, Skidmore should have waited a little bit right there. He had his block right there. He didn't kind of wait it to materialize a little bit. So, but the clock seems to uh, going right here. With we're down to about 320. <laughs> Grant County only stopped the clock one time. As they have one timeout, 3-12 left in the ball game. Yes. Good luck goes up wide. Okay. I'll be at the gate. Yeah, I've still at school. It's got three minutes to go in the game, and I'll be right down there at the gate to pick her up. Hand off inside, Carter. 
Gonna bring up a big third down. Third and about six. Third okay. and seven. Coach Sean, what do we what we do here? What we do here is third and seven, two thirty and clamp counting down. Keep it on the ground. Burn that clock up. Even if you don't get a first down, make them take a timeout. Be their last. Two fifteen left in the ball game. Dig, dig, dig. He won't get there. Safety kept the ball there for about a maybe a yard gain there. So it's fourth and about six or seven. Time out on the field. Time out to Grant County. They're last. We'll have about a fourth and six when we come back. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, My Real Church, Org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. 159 to play in the ball game, fourth and six, and Southern has elected to punt. Unless they plan to fake it as we've seen them do a couple of times this season. Grant County drops a man deep. It's a long way to run if you're going to fake it, though. Speck is on 45. Punt. Nice punt, nice high, no return. It's going to die Southern bounce. about the 15, 14. Let it, don't touch it. Just let it stand there. Make them blow the whistle. 147. Extra couple of ticks of the clock ticked off. So this is your ball game. Well, no timeouts. They Not stay in county. They can't run. If they run here, it's going to eat up clock. On the season, Nilp, 77 of 171 coming in. Ten touchdowns, eight picks. So. Four turnovers in the first half for the Braves. We need that team to show back up in this last drive. Well, about 100% of uh, Nip's passes has been 5, 10, 15 yards. There's not been nothing throwing downfield, so. Three receivers, two backs. They hand it off. There he's airs it out Wide now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was there, too. You cannot let your defender behind you. Back pedal, whatever you got to do. Do not let him yeah, get Yeah, don't let him run you. by you. A situation like that, you tackle him before he catches it. The penalty is only 15. 15 yards. Just, yeah, Instead of 50. Definitely. Folks, we got a 139 second, second and 10. 10. No timeouts for Grant. And Grand County's got to watch this. Uh, they're going to get a delay of game here because this takes a while to get their plays in. As you said, you know, running game, just going to eat the clock. 28-27, the Eagles lead it. There goes uh, Nip around the corner here. You've got to get him in bounds. He's going to get in bounds. He's, he runs out of bounds. Close to a first down. He's about two yards short, I believe. Big third down, third and two should be the play. If you're going to allow him to keep running outside, he can just do that all night and step out of bounds. Third and two. 
at the 22. Well, you know, this is kind of a tricky play coming up for Grant County, really. I mean, do you just try to get the first down, get the clock first stop? You got to get the first down, clock stop. There goes, uh, uh oh. There we go. First he got down it. on the 25. Clock will stop. That spoon guy again. Grant County needs to line up. Eagles need to get it lined up defensively as well. They need this stop right here and not a first down where that clocking is kick, tick, tick, tick. They no, spike it. The they, they clock the ball. I don't know if I agree with that or not. I mean, you just got the first down, then you spike it. No, you know, now you got three downs to make the first down. Uh -oh, flag. There goes the flag. I believe. Wait and see what that. I'm wrong and speculate. Sideline warning. Thank you. It's just a warning, people. They're on the – well, both teams are around the 28-yard line. I don't see no – Too close to the field. Too close to the field. Yeah. Okay. There's a dotted line. You see the dotted line on the field. You have to stay behind it. It stops Clocko. Where they clock? He, he drops back. And he – they have him. They have him sacked. No timeouts. Grant County's got to run back. That was Dawson Richardson on the sack. He stepped up. Good coverage downfield by Madison Southern Eagles. Dawson Gertrudson on the big play. One minute to play the ball game. Can't clock it. Third down and 11. Low snap. Gets through. Screen there pass. That screen. They've got to stop it right here. He doesn't get a first down. Clock's still moving. Oh, they get a first down right there on no. the 30. A little bit over Clock 35. is still moving. He's short. He's a yard short. Now they're going to stop it and measure. They're going to stop and measure, perhaps. We got a 48.4 seconds here. He it's got enough runs. on the first. It's he got running. enough. And they're just now getting in here. They're going to burn about 25, 30 seconds here before they get this play done. He rolls to the right here. He's going to let it throw here. Incomplete. Incomplete. <laughs> that burned a lot of seconds uh, it there, did. Coach Don. It did. Dawson Richardson on the play. 33 flat left in the ball game. Second and 10 at the Eagle, at the Grant County 35. 65 yards away from a touchdown. Southern's uh, defense backs that should not, they're, they're, they're way back right now. That Nobody get behind you. Comes a throw, it's over the middle. Out to the sideline, I mean, incomplete. Third down. You have to throw the sidelines, though, if you're Grant, because you have no timeouts. But we just don't want to get uh, some kind of foolish uh, like LSU and UK played we don't, there a long time ago. We don't need that Miami-Florida game like we had a couple weeks ago with Duke. Ten laterals. Dropping back, looking deep. Finds a man over the middle. Incomplete. Oh, and, and he had it, the ball right there, and that was uh, Blake Johnson for Grant County had it in there, and it was dislodged by a Southern defender. Hunter Richardson did a great job of knocking that one loose. Fourth and 10. Fourth and 10 at the 35. Here comes the Hail Mary. 22.8 left in the ball game. Eagle defense Final standing tall. Right here, more likely Maybe folks. not. If they get a first down, four receivers. He's going to throw this ball down there. He's getting downfield. 10. He's going to throw it and let it air, air out. He, he dropped the dropped ball. Dropped the folks. ball. Incomplete pass. Eagles take over. Eagles win. 28 27. Win and survive. Wow. Drake County ends it on a 21 0 run, but it wasn't enough. The Eagles will hold on for a 28-27 victory. Great job by that defense to stand tall when needed. The Eagles of Mass Southern will be home again next Friday night as they await the winner of Anderson County Covenant Catholic. Victory formation. The best formation in football. That will do it. 28-27. Eagles survive and advance.
You have Jack Burford, Chevrolet, player of their ball game. Carter Williams, number 43. Well, that was too exciting. It shouldn't have been that close, but playoff football, anything can happen. Your final one last time, 28-27, Eagles survive. We'll be at home again next Friday night. Get out and watch the Eagles advance in the 5A state championship playoff series. Thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Good night, everyone. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. The following is in smokeless tobacco, cadmium, formaldehyde, lead, nicotine, nitrosamines, polonium-210, hydrazine, benzopyrene, and uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the definition of binge drinking is having five drinks over the course of two hours. When done excessively, this may eventually lead to memory loss, unwanted pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases, cancer, excessive vomiting, alcohol poisoning. And possibly death. Nathan, can you hear me? If you don't want to swallow any of this, chances are the next tube you put in your mouth won't be a good time. For more information on binge drinking, please visit the Centers for Disease Control website at www.cdc.gov.